Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to reorganize your room using Google SketchUp. And uh, this is a really kind of a fast way to move things around and see how things are going to fit in the new arrangement. And what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to sort of recreate the room I stayed in when I was in the college dorms. And you can see the layout and, and how we might want to reorganize things so that they flow better. So, first thing to do is create the room. I'm going to draw a rectangle on the ground. And you can use measurements and all of that, but I'm just going to kind of rough it in here. And we'll pull it up for the height of the walls. And with the top face selected, we're just going to delete it. So we get the basic four walls and a floor. Now, with my room, it had this other sort of outjet here for the bathroom area. And so it was about, about so big. And it came all the way up to the ceiling. So we'll just snap it up to the ceiling. All right. So the basic structure of the walls is done. Now we're going to put my bed in there. And this was, uh, it was about that big, and we'll bring it up, give it a little bit of height. To make this a single object, you can select one of the faces and right click, and say select all connected. And it will select all the faces that are connected to that face, so basically the whole object. Now we're going to go to edit, make component, and we'll name this the bed. We'll say create. Now we can push control C, control V to copy this, and that was uh, the roommate's bed there. And we had a desk, so we'll make a quick desk. Again, we'll pull it up, give it a little bit of height, and select connected faces, make component, and we'll call this desk. There you go. So that's the basic structure of the room. And so if we wanted to rearrange something, you can click on one of the objects, move it around. We can select any one of the beds and uh, rotate it if we wanted to. So select rotate on it and kind of turn it a little bit. Something like that. And uh, move it into a, a new position. So if we wanted one of the beds down here, we could also move that desk back to the, the corner where the bed came from. Something like that. Again, that would kind of block the opening door. And if you want to put a door in, it's pretty easy. You would just draw your rectangle and then delete it. So you can kind of see where the doorway would be and so that wouldn't really work. But you can move these objects around and rotate them and rename them as you would like. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to reorganize your room using Google SketchUp. I'm Josiah Ray.